welcome to the first ever eighth grade versus teachers Kahoot Olympics. Uh, I'm Brian McCormick, one of the eighth grade teachers uh, along here, along with uh, my fellow homeroom teacher, uh, Shannon Tremont, uh, seventh and eighth grade science teacher, uh, Todd Medins, and seventh and eighth grade uh, diverse learning teacher, uh, Roy Mitchell, uh, our other diverse learning teacher, Ms. Wonderful, the wonderful Ms. Jackie Fournier is um, in the control booth uh, directing the uh, proceedings today. So that's, that's who's here. Uh, and joining me are about 53 of our 55 uh, members of the class of 2020, all saying hello to you there, uh, and all with their game faces on, ready to compete against each other for the opportunity to compete against teachers in the first ever Kahoot Olympics. Uh, just a few words about what a Kahoot is for those of you who are watching us and have never played Kahoot before. Uh, Kahoot is a general knowledge slash trivia quiz game that scores points um, for a variety of uh, uh, skills, uh, answering questions correctly, answering a series of questions correctly, and answering questions quickly. So points mount up. Individual uh, players each have point tallies that are recorded after each uh, question that is posed. And at the end of the quiz, um, the, the adults will be tallying up points from 202 and 205 to find out which class has won the right to um, uh, challenge the teachers for, for Kahoot Olympic Supremacy 2020. The, um, the, the, the first round quiz was created by the eighth grade teachers and, uh, and middle school teachers. And it includes a combination of the standard Kahoot questions, which is general knowledge slash trivia, uh, some more focused eighth grade curriculum questions, uh, testing how well they were paying attention in class this year, and a nice healthy chunk of questions about the class of 2020 itself. How well do they know each other? How well do they know the details of each other's lives? So those will be the categories of questions students and you will be seeing in round one. Uh, once we have a round one winner, we will have a round two competition where the teachers will face off against uh, the winning class in a Kahoot that was written by parents. Uh, that will include questions on uh, general knowledge and trivia, as well as questions on burly culture. Uh, so we, we don't, the teachers know nothing about what's on that quiz. We'll be seeing it for the first time as, as you will in round two. Uh, so I'm gonna check in with my other, my, my, my fellow commentators just to see if there's anything specific I, I failed to mention before we kick off round one. Any, Mr. Medins, Mr. Mitchell. This is Mad Science Medins here at the Kahoot Battle Competition, the contest. <laughs> we are here between 202 and 205. It is the battle of the century, the battle of the minds. And we are about to begin. Great. Uh, Mr. Mitchell Mr. and Ms. Uh, Tremont, anything else to add? I don't know, Mr. Middens did a great job there. I don't quite have that uh, announcer voice to me, but go 202, that's what I have to say. Great. And, and Mr. Mitchell, I know you are you're you have students in both classes, but I know you're probably leaning towards uh, 205 in, 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 in hopes of who's gonna prevail in this first round, am I right? I do a, I do a strong lean to 205 because I spend a lot of my time there. Um, but as we all know, and as I discussed with the students earlier, whoever wins this round is still going to get hammered by the teachers. That's true, but okay. So I'm gonna, should I hand it over to you, Ms. Fournier, to um, uh, to launch the quiz? Are we ready for that? And, and is everybody registered? Are we all good? Make sure to wipe your brows of the sweat. I saw 205 earlier doing <laughs> some stretches. 202 lagging a little bit behind. <laughs> all right, guys, everybody prepare your devices and we are going to start. Those fingers ready.
So this first category is where we're going to center on um, our, sorry, I think it's on the next slide, but where we're going to center on some of our content questions here. So get ready. Wow, a lot of speed on that first question. That surprised me. Was this one of your layup questions? <laughs> 45 out of 40. Kate's in the lead. Yes. Followed closely by Eden. And George. I think someone Please just kicked my for no fun. No parents involved. <laughs> so how did it go from question one to question four? Um, that's referring to the slides. Golden kites, silver winds, who knows? Uh oh. Let's see who's getting points. A lot points. of people missed that one. <laughs> that was during remote learning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All those two twos at the top. <laughs> Mike, you moved up through in places. Keep going. Don't be intimidated by the dog on the screen. <laughs> that is a lot of answers very, very, very quickly. Hmm. Was this, was this novel set in Lakeview? I had no idea. Is that a Labradoodle I see? All right. Uh-oh, Ellie's retaining her lead? Oh my gosh. I don't even see us in the top five except for Bethany, come on. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Edgar Allan Poe Raven. Questions from the first half of the year? That's not fair. Five seconds left. Get those buttons buttoning. So are we being told to read the questions? Is that what the, the idea was or the direction? The... I'll start reading the questions a lot. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> didn't know what seraphim were. Thank you for those of you who know they were angels. Let's see what that did to our leaderboard. I'm thinking the picture of that bird put us off. <laughs> Uh-oh, De Devin's moved in. Oh, come on, Bethany's still the only 205 in the top five. The northernmost point on the African continent. Where would it possibly be? You all became masters of African geography, but do Namibia. It's Namibia. It's <laughs> Namibia. And, and at least Bethany knows it's not South Africa. The northernmost point on the African continent is located in which country? Go to Algeria or Libya? Ooh, this is tough. Oh, Tunisia. That was pretty evenly distributed. What did it do to our leaderboard? Bethany takes the lead and look who's in there. Luke Sharba now bumping into bronze contention. Ooh, early. Lasted about how so long? 
How long did that Berlin airlift last? Oh, was it a week? Was it a month? Was it a year? A decade? Oh my gosh. Cold War. Cold War. Mr. McCormick, did that happen last week? Oh my gosh, and it was a DBQ too. Uh, it, it happened during enrichment. I hope everyone was paying attention during enrichment. Mm -hmm. We'll see who was. <laughs> oh, Hans says no problem in the chat. We'll see, Hans. Oh, it wasn't the most popular answer, but it wasn't unanimous. Ooh, Logan makes an appearance in the top five. Eden and George are still in there. David D is in the top five, but Bethany has taken a stranglehold on the lead. Which of these presidents was not impeached? Hmm, we had a whole president's unit, but it was way back at the beginning of the year. Who's gonna remember? Was it Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, Andrew Johnson, or our president, President Donald Trump? Which one of those presidents was not impeached? <laughs> oh, 17 of you knew that it was not Richard Nixon who resigned in disgrace, but was never impeached. And to be fair, it was Logan just or before or he was going to be impeached. It's not even... A student of American history until this year is still hanging on to the lead. And David's bumped into second place. Oh, this is getting so exciting. Who is the only president who never elected president or, or vice president by voter? Only one president ever served in either the role of president or vice president without ever being elected to either office. Who might it have been? What is that building? <laughs> and where's and where's the 10-foot fence that's supposed to be uh, blocking our view of it? It's supposed to be an old photo. So your choices are James Buchanan, Gerald Ford, George Bush, Lyndon Johnson. Who knew the right answer? 17 of you. It was Gerald Ford, who was never elected president or vice president. And how, what's that going to do to our leaderboard? I don't know. We'll see in a minute. Eden. Eden climbing. Lead. Bethany's still in the top two. We got David in third, Logan in fourth. George is still in the top five. Amazing. So we've got three out of the five are from 202. Uh oh, science mm -hmm. questions. Take it away, Mr. Medin. What is one effect that climate change and global warming? We've all studied this in the past. It, it will be a future. Something that we need to understand. Make sure you're standing up and telling people about it. Time is running out. Four, three, two. One. Well, it can't be cooler temperatures if, it, if things are warming. Oh, it was all of them. Evidently, they were paying attention. Very good. And Eden still remains in the lead. Bethany, David, Logan, and George. That did nothing to our leaderboard. The streaks are continuing. Uh-oh, Mike is back in the game. An object wants to remain in constant motion due to its mass unless acted on by an unbalanced force is... Oh, Don't stop me. Don't oh. stop me. You can't stop oh, me. I'm going to keep on going. Eden's got the motion. It's going to be hard to stop her. Not due to this force. <laughs> Nick, Nick says that was a seventh grade question, Mr. Medins. <laughs> I just put him in the time. <laughs> well, they were evidently paying attention in seventh grade because three fourths of them got it right. I'm happy to say I also got this right without looking at the answers first. <laughs> Me too. Didn't think I could. I had absolutely no idea what the answer was. Mm -hmm. The chemicals in a rocket engine combined is a example of what type of reaction? Hint, blast off! Exothermic, endothermic, electromagnetic, and weight. Oh, 
watch the SpaceX launch last week. Not to brag, I also oh, got this. Some of you players are so hot. Ooh. Doesn't look like you're stumping anybody, Mr. Medins. Erica moved up to the lead and brought some 205ers into it. Neurofibromatosis is a dominant disease. If the mother is heterozygous and the father was homozygous recessive, oh, what is the probability that their child would get the disorder? Oh my gosh, this is a math work question. I have 250 here, 250, 750, 750. Yes, I hear 750. Hey. Oh, what was the answer? Ooh, this was a stumper. More than half of you got it wrong. That was one where you had to do some calculation. Hmm. Sammy moving up there. All right, math time. What's the slope and y-intercept of the linear equation? Y equals three over two x minus four. We need slope and y-intercept. What are they? Who's got their pencils out? Who's thinking mathematically today? Bryant has the time to not only answer the questions, but type in smart alecky comments in the chat. Go Bryant! <laughs> Though I didn't love that it said, oh no. To be fair, that is his favorite phrase, so. <laughs> yeah, it might, it might, it might be oh, an, good. oh, it didn't, didn't seem to stump anybody. 30, well, Majority. Okay. Well done. Most, most of you got it. And what is that doing to, oh, George bumps George up. got us up into the lead. We now have uh, four 202s and one oh, 205. Oh, that's no good. That's no good. I can't see, I can't see point totals because of my grid, but. Um, what is the general shape of the equation y equals x cubed? That's the parent equation. What is its shape? Am I going uphill? Am I going downhill? Am I going up and downhill? Who knows? I'm an equation. Well, letters don't have shapes. It's, 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 y is shaped like a y and x is shaped like an x and 3 is shaped like a 3. I don't get it. Oh, Mr. McCormick. Oh, also math with letters. <laughs> Ooh, surprising. But I'd stump more people. Yeah, like it. Oh, well done, guys. Half of them. Very well done. That's what they have to put up with in class all the time. I feel for the kids. <laughs> we only They're used to it. Hi, I'm so sorry, kids. <laughs> Now have two total fivers up in the upper five. Go Three Logan. Go he Logan. has shown her power. Logan was a top scorer. And we now go ahead, uh, Miss. What is the degree of a quadratic equation? Quadratic. We just about this quadratic. In what do I need this for? <laughs> you need it to learn a lot. Uh oh, another oh no. Won't hold up themselves. And as and as you as, as you struggle with that one, we, 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 let's welcome another commentator. Our principal is showing up. Hi, Miss Plocker. I didn't see you until you, 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 you piped in. Uh, it's it's not looking good for two hundred five so far. But we're Ooh. once we get away from curriculum, evidently they they didn't learn anything in eighth grade. But they'll do really well on the other two parts. It is degree two. Nice job, everybody. All right. I would have guessed. See, I, I saw quadratic and I thought it must be four. Bethany's back on top. Logan's still in the top five. Nice job. Let's get some more 205s in there. Keep it up, 202. How many solutions does this equation have to pop up right now? Does it have one? Does it have two? Does it have three? Four? Five? Who knows? Why are there numbers and letters in this thing? Is the answer Boston? <laughs> Is that contact lens solution you're talking about? It's the only solution I know. Wow, good job. Nice. Thought that would take a little bit more time. Mm. I hope to. We've underestimated our opponents, I think, teachers. 
Ooh, Sam. Sam Niffin has that's come new, to the top new, five. And Sam K, we got some new names in the top five. Hang in there, 202. All right. Is now are we moving to a new? Nope. So here we are moving on to our um, next category and last category here. So this is how well does the class of 2020 know each other? So to give just a little bit, the students a while back submitted trivia questions about themselves. Um, and that's what I reported here. So if you disagree, take it up with the student themselves. <laughs> we tried something similar in seventh grade earlier on today, and it was tricky. David Risk's favorite TV show. Well, it better not be Breaking Bad since that's appropriate for those folks to watch. Um, the office can be a little out of color sometimes as well. Uh, I don't even know what Clone Wars is, and I know Gotham is dark, but I think it's pretty PG. So. Oh, it was Star there. Wars, Mr. McCormick. <laughs> Star Wars. Yes, I knew I knew Star Wars, but I didn't see that as an option. <laughs> no, that's where the Clone Wars Clone come Wars. from. Oh, oh, and it, and that wasn't his favorite show. That's interesting. I thought you, David. I thought you were a obsessive uh, with, with with that. How many dogs has Luna had in her life? Oh, were they all as cute as that one? One, two, Hope three. So. All the Luna fans should know how many dogs she's had. Puppies, 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 puppies. The answer was three, and it seems like a lot of you knew that. What is this? What are these doing to our leaderboard? I was gonna say this seems like it might shake it up a little bit. Logan Weiss has made a new appearance. We are now up to three to two, two oh five in the top five. Of course, it's the whole top to bottom that's gonna make the difference. Where does Alexa go every summer? To the moon, to the moon, to the moon! They all sound like great ideas. Maybe she, maybe she does a circuit and it's all four. New York, see if you plays. California, do a little surfing. Mexico, mmm, the food. Puerto Rico, mmm, the food. That actually got me through. She goes to Mexico. I want to know where in Mexico next time I talk to her. And, oh, Bethany knew oh. that. And you moved back up. A little bit of a climb. Thanks. We want, okay. How many pets has Sammy had? Oh, pets. The word is pets. Hmm. Everyone loved to report on their pets. I was going to say, colors does, that, does that include every, what if, 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 I, I think I had nine goldfish in my life. I don't know. I don't know. I saw, nine's a lot of pets when you're only 14. Does the answer include the pineapple hats? Because they're really <laughs> cute. I could not resist the pineapple hats. That's a mystery not choice. Oh, the answer was seven. It looked like uh, only six of you knew it. Let's see the movement. Oh, hold and steady. Wow, it holds a minute at all. Maddie Z's dream vacation. Mm. Hawaii, Greece, Bora Bora, or Paris. Well, she's very cultured and sophisticated, so that would be Paris. But she's, you know, she's got the exotic street, which is what I think of Greece. And, and she's adventurous, which is Bora Bora. I don't really see her enjoying the hula. I don't know about. And the correct answer was Paris. Oh, would have been my first guess. And what does that do to our leaderboard? Nothing. No change at all. Oh, Devin and pets again. We got more pets here. Oh, oh it's, does he have? This is, this is his current report. Zero, one, two, or three. Oh, some people might know that really well. Some people might have no idea. I have no idea. Dan and I talk about a lot of things. We've never talked about their pets. Zero. Six people knew. That made a big adjustment. Uh -oh. David D is now on the top. Bethany, Eden, Logan, Weiss, and Sam K. Still in the top five. Mm. Ooh. Movie sagas, oh my gosh. Oh, Train Your Dragon, Harry Potter, all oh, the Marvel movies, Chronicles of Narnia. C.S. Lewis books come to life, those were pretty great. Of course, Harry Potter, we 
we've all read those. Oh my goodness, which one does she like to watch? Just cool, I'm sorry. I've seen that. Oh, it was How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, no one knew it. That was a stumper, LP. Good mm. job. I was going for Harry Potter for sure. I, would... <laughs> I can change our leader, but Eden's favorite color. Hmm, I think about what she wears day to day. She wears a lot of pink, blue, yellow. Roy G. Bib! R. O. Y. G. B. I. B. Roy G. Bib! <laughs> and the answer is. Blue! Blue it is! And oh. most of you guessed it right. She's got the blue eyes. I should have guessed that. People really knew that one. Mm -hmm. And our leaderboard's holding steady. Come on. Fun, Ooh, 202. Up. up in there. Back in there. Where has George traveled? Ooh, that's good. Which of these places has George been to? France, Australia, uh, London, or Italy? Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. They are answering really fast. Yeah. Oh, good. I do so know each other pretty well. Too, Mitchell. Have you been to all four of those, Mr. Mitchell? Not to Australia. Me, not yet. Me either. I want to go. Ooh, Eden Ooh. bumps in a little bit. Oh. thing. Okay. Yeah, it's a little, we do, we're, it's, it, it seems to be a shuffle with the leaderboard, but the, the same five people have been up there for quite a while. True or false? David D has broken false? his nose. Hmm. Gosh, I hope not. I hate, hate for any of my students to ever suffer any misfortune of any kind, but they can, they, they, they can put those back together and you never even know. Oh, he's never broken his nose. Never. It's something that you thought he had. He huh. David, I don't know what that's saying about your nose. <laughs> David, you didn't know that you'd never broken your nose? Somebody yeah, answered faster than you? Up into the top five. Eden, Bethany, Sam, David. <laughs> how many? How many times? He's saying he sprained his nose. Is that possible? <laughs> Ellie has moved from her place of residence either never, twice, four times, or six times in her fourteen years on this planet. Right. I wouldn't even. I couldn't even count how many times I've moved. But of course, I've been around a little bit more than fourteen years. Uh, I haven't moved in a long time. The answer was six times, and six of you knew that. And it looks like everyone in the, in the leaderboard knew it. Hold and steady. Knew it. Dogs and cats does Dasha have? Oh, currently, one dog, one cat, two dogs, one cat, no dogs, two cats, two dogs, no cats. Oh, red fish, blue fish, green fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish. I, 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 I really tried to play around with the language on this one. I like green eggs and ham. Just to get you. <laughs> two dogs, no cats. Twelve of you knew it. Does it change our... Ooh. A little bit. Good job. David moves oh. down. Sam, oh, look at that leaderboard. We are bunched in silver and bronze and... Ron's contention 205. I just know 205's holding steady in the middle. What is Angelina's favorite color? Come on, Angelina. Right, GBIV again. <laughs> I think blue purple. That's a new option. Green. Hmm. Hmm. Violet are those smallest wavelengths. <laughs> I'm sure that played into her decision. The most powerful of them all. Purple was the choice. I didn't oh, want to it because it's the, the most powerful of them all, Mr. McCormick. Mm -hmm. Just we're, we're reshuffling the top five, but they're all still in it. My goodness, how many siblings, siblings does that park have? I know, I know, well, I know the answer's not zero. At least I know at least one. That hella sharp as sharp as a knife. <laughs> Is indeed. Can it be one? Can it be two? Can it be three? Can it be twelve? Who knows? Four siblings. Eight of you knew it. 
And it doesn't alter our leaderboard at all. Ooh, how old was Bethany when she moved to where? To the United States? Oh, to China. Nope, to China. Mm, mm. I might know this because uh, I met first met Bethany. We talked about this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tip my hand. Shanghai, Shanghai, Bethany. I'm not gonna Shanghai this question. She was eight. And Bethany knew it, of course. So did Eden. <laughs> How many, How many countries, countries have Tamrisa been to in the last year, or has Tamrisa been to in the last year? It would be hard to be at zero countries. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and we know we, we know the answer has to be at least one. <laughs> so that should that should hopefully nobody answers zero, but I don't know. Well, three, not well, three, not zero, even though that was an impossibility. Got a couple. The answer was two. The U.S. and where else? That's what I want to know. find out later. Marisa can tell us in, during the intermission. Pass it along in the chat. Sam is up. Richard still in the top five. Or I think we lost somebody. Or maybe it was just a flip. Nick's favorite color. Again, colorful questions for a colorful group of graduates. I really like to report on this one. Red, blue, orange, or black? I was going to say I should really know this, but I think I do know. Yeah, I think I was, was going to ask before color. the actors came up. We'll see if I was right. Is black a color, folks? Yeah, That's that the question to me. Uh, and the answer was blue, and nine of you got it right. And let's see if our leaders got it right. No, they didn't. Bethany jumps back into the lead. Eden bumps down to two, Sam's in third, David D and Bridget round out the top five. I'd love to see the middle five. But I don't know where, where the rest of us are at. How many cats does it? Well, we know at least one because, oops, I shouldn't say that. Never mind. No, I, we don't know anything. We don't know anything. Giving things away, Mr. McCormick. Uh, well, I, I saw something that no one else has seen yet, so I, I, I almost uh, spoke the beans. Uh, we'll, we'll all... We've actually seen them a lot during remote learning. We're all going to see at least one of them on Monday. That's all I'm going to tell you. When one of them will make a guest star appearance. Well, I, I saw something that no one else. <laughs> Bethany's still in the lead. Eden, Sam, David, and Bridget still hold the other slots in the top five. Bump into the top five. Uh oh, Etienne's back and Etienne's on a roll. Hopefully, that's going to knock out David D. How many of Emma Haynes are displayed at oh, that I was going to say, that's going to be a big number because I've seen a lot of them just in remote learning. We have a lot of talented artists in this group. Four, of six, oh, there's so many great artists in this group. And, uh, it is, it's been so fun to watch them develop as artists. Uh, the show was great and the shows that we've seen in, during remote learning. 96. Oh, 96 paintings displayed at home. That's amazing. Wow. I want to know where you have this space. That sounds incredible. Look at Annabelle. She's now oh, taken to painting the wall. I, like I think she bumped Bridget out. Uh, Very nice, Bridget. Annabelle. We were way back up there. Hmm, last place. She traveled out of state before the quarantine. Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, or Florida. Ah, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of Burley families go to Florida over Christmas break or winter break. A lot of them uh, definitely go to Michigan and Wisconsin. A lot of second homes there. Oh, it was Wisconsin. I bet it was the Dells, my favorite place in the, in the world. Ah, oh, the Dilly Dells. Bethany seemed to know. All right, 205, we got, uh, oh, Ellie B has made an appearance in the top five. Hmm. That's 205, pushed out of the majority in the top five. Yes, I, I know, I see this. Oh, Etienne, your breakfast cereal is at Mini Wheats, Rice Krispies, Cheerios, or Lucky, Lucky Charms in honor of Mr. Mitchell, magically delicious, yay. I would have assumed it was Wheaties. 
I would have guessed Cheerios, but I don't know. Mini wheats, we got Rice Krispies, we got. It's mini wheats. And a lot of you knew it. Ah, Bethany knew it. Ah, we still got. What did you want to talk about? When Ella McMahon was younger, she had lots of cats, dogs, rabbits, fish. More pets. <laughs> Gotta love it. Look at that menagerie. Fish. Right. Oh, and a lot of students knew that. They might have seen your aquarium when you were younger. I wonder if she took them on walks. <laughs> or out on runs. Doesn't do anything to our leaderboard. Ooh, favorite band. I think I might know this one. Maybe it does. See a couple of my guesses right in there. A lot of people answering very quickly on that one. I don't see your classmates know. Ashley Young in there, or Led Zeppelin, or. direction was the right answer but a lot of a lot of quick answers but not a lot of correct ones bridges well, back in the top five back in the majority how many questions left miss uh Trima? um let's see looks like we have three more 43 of 46. Okay, what age oh water yeah, what age did abby oh, learn about water oh, skiing oh, my goodness water skiing my favorite pastime three Feeling of the wind in your face and the spray as you're cutting across the lake. Oh, nothing better. Nothing better. The breeze of Lake Michigan in the fall. Mm. <sighs> From six? That's unbelievable. I was barely walking when I was six. Oh, Bethany is unflappable, unbeatable. Where has Grace never been, but would like to go someday? Ah, she never been to one of those countries and wants to go. Maybe she's never been to any of them, but only wants to go to one. Maybe she's been to three of the four. We don't know. Whatever it is, there's only one correct answer. And we're going to find out in two seconds what it means. Italy! She's never been, but she wants to go. And a lot of you seem to know that. Too many people think it should be Bora Bora for some reason. The food. Lewis, Lewis 202. Oh my gosh. Where did he come from just at the last minute? There was only two questions left. How oh, many countries God. has Gabby been to? Seems like a world traveler to me. Seems like a world traveler to me. I don't know. Oh, there's a dog behind Mr. McCormick. It's Jack. Jack's there. Hi, Jack. Jack knows the answer to this. He's not telling me. I don't know the answer. It's been to 12 countries. Hans wants to know where Jill is. <laughs> we're just, we're, we're a one dog family right now. Well, oh, Bridget inching up. How, how, how strong is Bethany's lead with one question left? We will soon know. And here it is, your last question. Pay attention today. It was referenced only. 54, 55, 56, 57. 10987654321. Ignition blast off. And wait. How many are in your class? No questions left. 55. Okay. Let's see what that does to the leaderboard. Sam K, third place. Eden, second place. Holy smokes. Is it Bethany? Bethany in first place. 29 out of 46 correct answer. Oh gosh, Sam, you came out of nowhere at the end there. So oh. now I believe, am I right, Miss uh, 
Ms. Fournier, that we're going to take a brief intermission while the uh, while the teachers tabulate, and we can let everyone know in one minute. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick pause. Um, I'm going to get my calculator out, and we're going to add these up real quick. Um, and just because 205 had two out of the three in the top three spots there, it's not over. We're going to add everyone together um, and see which class comes out on top. We've seen it. We've seen we've seen examples where 202 had all three of the top slots and still did not prevail. I forgot to mention on the um, on the front end that uh, 202 are very very heavy underdogs in this uh, competition. Uh, we've had two previous head-to-head Kahoot matchups, and 205 has prevailed in both of the previous uh, matchups, but. It's a clean slate. We saw a lot of 202 uh, action uh, in those uh, in the top five throughout. Uh, you know, the, it could be anyone's to win. And after our, our short break, we're going to come back and announce the winner. Um, so, is are we, are we, Ms. Fournier, are we still up? Oh, there we go.
Okay. So after tallying up the votes, or not the votes, the points here <laughs> with the assistance of Mr. Mitchell, um, one of the classes had 406,237 points. The other 465,546 points. And the class winner of the 202 versus 205 Kahoot challenge is 205. Oh, and Mr. McCormick's reaction is priceless. The crowd goes wild. The <laughs> crowd goes bitter. wild after a great afternoon of Kahoot battle. We have come down with a winner. 205, the 2020 champion chippers of the world. So
Okay, and we are back here for our 205 versus teachers round um, that we're excited to bring to you. So these questions, this go around, are coming to you from our eighth grade parent community. We threw out an ask for them to develop some general knowledge and trivia questions, um, and they definitely delivered. The teachers have not seen any of these questions, myself included. Um, and for this uh, special round, we do have some student commentators who we're going to throw it over to. So from 202, all three of them, we have Hans Fur, George Lefebvre, and Eden Harris commentating for us today. So it'll work much like you saw before. Um, the teachers have signed on here, um, and so have our 205 class winners. Um, the points will work in the same way. Um, we're looking at accuracy, uh, streaks, and speed here. Um, and we will total up all the points in the end to see who our big winners are. And I think that's all I have. Anything else from middle school team here? Nope. Looks like we're ready to go. How many chickens currently live at Burley? Now, uh, this is a very uh, complicated answer. Um, yes. As you know, we have uh, some people who are chicken experts in uh, Burley. But um, as we all know, um, the students also take care of the chickens. So really could go either way. Um, George, uh, what do you think is, uh, who has the advantage right now? I really oh. think it could, be, it could be a toss up between the majority of the teachers. I mean, Ooh, I know that. Mr. Right. McCormick knows a whole ton about chickens. He's practically an expert in the field. And I just that think is he right. That is a really right. good job here. And oh, look at Mix, the, Miss, Wick, Miss Victor coming up on top. With and Miss the other right behind her. Now, the teachers are just destroying right now. But, um, you know, it's just the first question. Which teacher's special skill is not true? Now, this is, um, the teachers definitely have a, um, unfair advantage in this one, since they do, like um, know each other. Instructor? Yes, they do talk, which seems They strange. do talk, yes, they um, yeah, they but, do. um, it's, and, well, wow, wow like, that is just, that is, um, very, um, one-sided. Considering I can't even draw a straight line, how could I be a portrait painter? Uh, that's true. That is true. That yeah. is true. Now, um... Ms. Victor in the lead, Kim Risa representing the students following close behind. That is true. Um, but this is just a very interesting game. Um, and again, back with the chickens. Um, a very chicken-oriented game so far. And Lou Yeti is a microphone. I know that much. Charlie, Cheeto, and Katy Perry. So oh, maybe Miss Parker is a Katy Perry fan. Yeah. I do not know. But as, oh yeah, as you can see, a very wide range of oh, Cheeto. Cheeto. So yeah. Katy Perry is a. I did chicken. not know that. Me well, neither. Yes. And wow, what a comeback! Oh wow, Miss Tremont coming up to second, and Mister Strother pushing his way to number one. Leaderboard. Mm. So. The teachers are in the top three right now. And now the eighth graders have the advantage. Um, so, oh, well, look at me. I, I am there. Wow. V a very special surprise. Um, but it, yes. One okay, and look at this one. There we go. 38 correct answers. Wow. Abby coming up to number two. Yeah, Abby. Right now, she is one of the only 205 students in the leaderboard. So now, like this could be a very exciting game, and it really could go either way. Okay. Hmm. You see, this is most definitely the most the mo most difficult question in this. I mean, quiz. it's people who has been around for a very long time, um, have. Um, can know this one, so really can go either way. Um, just yes, a lot of people got that. Correct answers. Now, and oh, Miss Tremont, going back. Wow, that's too bad. 
So Mr. Struthers still pushing out in the, at number one. Now we have a Chicago-oriented question. That is where we are right now. So it's as if you didn't know. I've, sorry, I've just been told that I won't hold my mic. Um, so this is the lots of um. I I don't even know this one, and I'm um from Chicago. So th- this is a, one of the harder questions so far. Wow. wow. 11 people getting it right and 15 and more wrong. Wow. Yeah. One has- person I don't see up here on the leaderboard is Mr. Riddance. Looks like he's struggling a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. You know, we don't have any science-oriented questions, or um, but that's oh. just okay. Now, this is, again, about Chicago and high school, which we're going to. Isn't that crazy? Um, Look at that. So- I, I mean, I, I know this answer, but um, I'm, I'm not going to say, since I know um, they'll be cheating. Yes. And Michael Jordan, as you know, the uh, famous basketball player, um, just had a very interesting ESPN documentary. Um, Mr. Yes. back in the lead. Bringing Mr. Struthers back in the lead. Mighty Mr. Soccer dropping from first place. Now, this is interesting. The teachers are just... They're just running away with this one, and it's not even the first question. Now, what do you think is the strategy for 205? Hmm. I honestly think that they just have to keep guessing. Just, they, it's like it's, not many of them are on the top with just a, mainly the teachers that are coming out at number one. This is a very, it's very one-sided, unlike the um, game before. But as a, um, I think we can go, George, I know you're our uh, strategist, so, and you are, are also a student here. So what do you think yes, that they I will am. have to do? Um, what, what do you think the strategy is? Honestly, just, just keep trying to get those questions right, because I think that's the aim of this whole entire that thing. Is. And then they could win. I, think I wasn't. I wasn't even born in 2005, so um, that is tough. So I think, like you know, um, just, just like that. I wasn't even born, so you know. I mean, I I don't even know who could get this one. I think you know it's very one sided to the teachers right now. Wow, who knew Miss Mr. Lewis did an Elsa impersonation? Wow, people knew that. Very interesting. I mean, he really does fit the part. That's all I'm going to say. Mr. Struther does it again, and it remains in the lead, while Miss Plocker comes close behind. Hmm. Now we have Dan the Man, 205. Oh, and now we have TikTok, the very popular app. I don't know if you have heard of it. It's a small app. I'm sure. I'm sure that the teachers here have the most the most unfair advantage. I don't think anyone in 205 knows anything about this. Oh, Brian like. McCormick. I mean, a ledge. You know. He's a he's a TikTok legend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The new Mr. McCormick had TikTok. Wow. Emilio has the most followers on TikTok. Hmm. Interesting. Eighth graders making a comeback with this question. Mr. Strother still in the lead. That is true. That is true. Now, The Simpsons, one of the the yellow characters, um, if you do not know, that um, appeared in a cartoon with the following the antics of Homer Simpson and the Simpson family. That is why it's called The Simpsons, if you did not know. So... Now, um, we have, I think this is definitely, Ned Flanders, this, a lot of people got the question wrong, which is interesting, but we need to know what is happening, and that is interesting, Abby is back in the lead. Look at wow, that. Wow, represent the students, students are making a comeback, look out teachers. I still see Mr. Riddance, where is he? Yeah, Mr. Minutes is not yeah. your board. Seems like today is Kahoot school. They're even worse than his jokes. <laughs> let's see, let's see if anybody knows this one. Let's see if the teachers can make a comeback. So I was in the lead. So um, as you can see, this is um, because uh, Burley stands for you know the being an ally, and that is. And nobody got that one wrong. That is a um, 
a home run right there. So, and okay, now the 205, they they just, they messed it up again. They they just fell again. What I mean, is not, happening here? Not necessarily. They still have two of their people on at number one and they, number two. Hey, but it could go either way. That's the thing. This is, this is just, it's just disgraceful as a student. Yes, it's, I'm kind of embarrassed, to be honest. Miss Plocker and the Environmental Club has a big advantage in this question. When that is true. This is, this is very one-sided to the teachers. I, I think there might be some, um, there might be some, um, you know. Well, 38 like, people knew the question, so. And Lily comes back into the leaderboard, and Kenna and Abby are- um, and It's not working. It's okay, though. They say it's fine. The video right. is just- Okay, and George's right now is uh, getting a talk from his dad, as you can hear. That is um George's dad right now. A very, very he also works with Lily now. This is this is a um, another one of them, which is something we've been told lots and lots of times, and it's you know, and I I might disagree because, but you know, I think the students definitely have a good advantage. This about one? that camera not working. Yeah, and we've been told multiple times that Wikipedia is not something to be trusted. And and and, and that is uh, questionable, but um, you know, um, McKenna takes the lead, and Abby falling down, and now there's lots of two or five students in the in the top five. Mr. Yeah. Schrader being the yes, Mr. Schrader, I mean, teacher what happened? right now. The teachers are choking. They yes. are just absolutely letting this slip from their fingers like yes. sand. Like wet sand when you feel it. I think the teachers have the advantage here because I know there's a lot of this specific singer when they Amen. were our age. Yes. Yes. Stay hydrated. Okay, so. Let's I see if get this question right. Madonna, 39 people knew that. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised since Madonna is not. And big news anymore, but, but and I'm making a comeback for 205. Let's see if the what, teachers can get back on there. And Ellen, what is wow. happening with the teachers? Mr. Wow. Schroeder, just staying up there for the team. Good job. This is what happens. Like they kick. This is like in soccer. If like they kick the ball and then trip over the ball, we're trying. Yes, to it's exactly it like that. That's the exact same analogy I was thinking of. What exactly? Thank you. Now this is of course the um, mind thing. We um, always think about, you yes. know, we've been told we only use like what is it, five percent of our minds. I've known that. I think it's two. Two percent. I don't know. You know, I'm not. Ninety-eight percent. That is crazy. So that's what it means by two percent. Hmm. Interesting. That is very interesting. Mr. So. Strzok making a comeback to the for the oh, team. Oh wow, player. number one, but Abby. Still, what happened? But still, the two hundred five is still in the lead. It, I don't think it even matters anymore. You know, Mr. Strzok is just carrying this whole team. It's it's just who Ooh, has a black belt in karate? Ooh, now, I, this is that, a, for the I think the students know this one. Let's see, the teachers and definitely have an unfair advantage. Yeah, yeah. I have myself up there. I don't know if that's good. I mean, Let's see who can know this one now. Um, and this is interesting because karate, one of the oldest. Um, yes, Ella. Ella is Mr. Struther is still staying on top. Way. So Mr. Wow. Struther is still staying on top, and Mighty McMahon. How that? That's interesting. I wonder how she got up there. Yeah. Now we have. Um. Okay. So let's go. Which? What grade did Miss Miss? This is Nash used to teach. We have second, fifth, seventh, and first. Now teachers will have an advantage on that, especially Miss Nash if she's on here. She yeah. Should have right? So I mean, she's the vice principal, but now she used to teach, which is just shows it's coming around full cir circle. Seventh grade. Wow. That answer is correct. I taught fifth and seventh grade. I taught both of them. Leaderboard still saying the same with Struther. Mighty McMahon on the bottom yes, and sure. Mr. Strother on top. Both McMahons are on the leaderboard. Let's see if they can beat each other. Let's see. 
Now, um, when you the, the band ABBA. Now, um, that's interesting. Um, so pretty much, um, this is uh, a very popular band. Um, it was um, Dancing Queen, you know. Um, and then you have the popular movie. Um, I forgot its name. What is the name? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Now, Sweden, I'm from Sweden, if you don't know. I have the blue eyes and the blonde hair. Now, Very the leaderboard Sweden. looks like it's all, all students, except all for the All students? I, I don't get what happened to, to the back. teachers. The teachers, this, you guys really need to get back on there. Now. Let's see if anyone will Mr. Move. McCormick having a clear advantage over here with his reading yes, knowledge. He caught this one, yes. 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 That is correct. I think the students should know this if they were paying attention. Now, but you know, it's hard to pay attention in school. Well, we all know that. Um, but uh, we are having chat for agreement from the chat. Um, but um, so and it's a pretty much a very um, honest thing. And oh, now Ooh, Miss Victor uh, climbing oh, up to Victor. number four. Climbing Our up. The teachers, Mr. Shutter, still in the lead. I haven't seen a lot of other teachers in the leaderboard. I mean, I, I'm just wondering what's happening because, um, Ooh. very nice. Nice. This, this is your chance. And, oh, I think all the students know this. So the students should, um, the help with this. So, um, so, and so, yeah, I think that this is interesting as you know that we had a climate strike. And, um, so, I mean, if, if the students do have an unfair, but also the teachers have, so it could really go either way. And, very one-sided answer as you can see but well, i just wonder if this will affect the outcome of the game the the director is shifting one is spot famous. up and then wow. now the teachers are finally getting a hold of it diego but, um, is making a comeback three in a row look at that so yes um so we have who was augustus burley now you know, we are named after Burley, so yeah. we don't know. I don't even know this one, okay? So I, I don't know, and I think the teachers have an unfair advantage because, you know, probably when they're applying for a uh, teacher. Once um, again. Like, they had to know, like, research Burley. So that that's just from a statistic, from a statistic standpoint. As I, the, know that I, I know that I just searched this up because I did not know the answer. Yeah. It's a but politician and financial expert. That is very interesting. Did not know that personally, but maybe the teachers knew that. It affected the leaderboard at all. Ooh, Miss Victor and Mr. Shudder, both teachers. Number one and two. Holding out the top, but every but other single Elvis teacher. Billy are hanging on for 205. Let's see if they can make a comeback. Come on, 205. We, we just didn't know that. What was so controversial? Now, this you know so this could be he, he was, was too, good, too looking. good looking yes i mean that's it you know i mean you know i mean that's i don't know about that one but oh he has been married too many times he was still alive now if he you was know you still can alive, you would have to be 500 years old because yeah. he was still like, more he was still i did not know that so yeah. he was still alive so you know, but of course he's probably dead now. I don't know. Maybe he's still alive. So I don't know. Oh, so, oh Lily and oh, McKenna making a comeback. Three and four. Miss so, watch out, Miss Lily Nash is know. back because this is all questions about Augustus Burley, and as the vice principal, she would probably have to know this and research this to become the vice principal. And what year was Burley Belt? I mean, he knows their Burley history. We've been talking a lot about Burley history. Is anybody now, 19 to, it, I mean, I don't mean to, like, but it looks old. The architecture um, looks old. So, you know, my guess is, as this is just my expert opinion, I would say 1798. But that also doesn't make sense because, oh, 1896. That's old. That is very old. Yes. No, I was wrong as the, so. That didn't affect the leaderboard at all. Couple no, that didn't. That. 
Which country did Mr. Mint serve in the Peace Corps? I'm sure 205 has an excellent advantage with this. Any of his yes. science students should know this by yes. heart. But he always talks about it. Got it lost. Yep. But, and um, somebody's saying no. France in the chat. Um, I don't know um, what, what, and people are saying the UK and Bora Bora Namibia. making a comeback. It's Bora Bora. I, I mean, well. you know. I think uh, Bora Bora is becoming a fan favorite country. Yeah. Um, Bora Bora, the official country of Burnley, as we all know. Yes. So never to who question. What is the oh. oldest building in Chicago? Let's see if you guys know your Burnley history. Let's see if you know your Chicago history. Art. The Chicago Stock Exchange, the um famous building with the um with the little blimp landing spot. I knew that because um you know my dad is a architecture major or something like that no he he was, took architecture in high school well it's water the water tower, tower the, the one that survived changes the leader mm-hmm. at all mm-hmm. the old one with with the bricks and then there's the mm-hmm. new one with the uh, lego store yes. oh yeah i like that one that's my favorite very good Okay, and leaderboard at, at all. Mr. Strother and Miss Victor are still in the lead. So Lily, I don't, this Javier could really go five. either way. I mean, because you have the teachers holding up front, but then the rest of them are still um, in in third, fourth, and fifth place. But it, did it, one it, the last. The now, the Bulls, as we all know, are terrible right now. But, you know, and th- that's a long time ago. But maybe people, I know the sports fans would probably know this. But, um, you know, I-, I don't know this since I'm not a sports person. Um, but there was a new documentary, The Last Dance. 23 people knew this. Not 23 a lot of people. people are Bulls fans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. We have some hardcore Bulls fans. It's a, wow. It's not changing at all. It's 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 not changing at all. That is very interesting. The because the on the last round there was um oh and what team did they beat? Now the New York Nixons. Um is that after Richard Nixon? I don't know. Definitely did. Hopefully not. Was it the Utah Jazz or the Phoenix Suns? Who knows? Hopefully yes. You know, to win this Kahoot. Half of these teams are, aren't even. Oh, wow. 24 Utah people. The Utah Jazz. I mean, hopefully it wasn't the New York Nixons. Was, yeah. um, Utah Jazz. And fun <laughs> fact, there is no jazz in Utah. So kind yes. of a weird name. That's a little trivia for you. McKenna making a comeback over Lily. Let's see if any yeah. other two or five people can change the leaderboard. Erica has a 12 answer streak. That is crazy wow. good job erica now we Let's have what is the minutes. basic unit of life i think that mr Cormac, or mr minutes has taught us this Let's see if anybody knows it that was okay organs Excuse me. stress or a cell you have six seconds to make your answer now, what is stress i have no idea but you know, and it, it was a cell. Three Wait, people said one. Nobody said one. That's good. And the leaderboard still does not change. Let's see if we can get a little change. This, in this is game. um, it's just staying exactly the same. And um, a red ball is red because it only reflects red. Feels light. red. Yes. Yep. Seventh grade science. Seventh grade science class is really now. Fun. It's really, it's really. So I think Mr. Bidens now clearly has an unfair advantage. I should really, we should really be seeing Mr. Bidens the leaderboard now. These are I, I don't know how something feels red. Maybe it's like you know, like it like is hot and it's like ow, and then that's like you know, because red is like hot, but and, and it only reflects red light. Now we had thirty correct answers. And, oh. oh, and we have. Oh. The first time the leaderboard has changed in a while. This is historic right now. Skibba representing the teachers in fifth place and McKenna falling right behind Mr. Strother. It's a very intense comeback. Very intense. We have the quiz. Which country was the first to legalize 
gay marriage. Now we have the Netherlands, Canada, Denmark, and the United States. Now, um, I would say that the ne- I know Denmark is usually the first. They are very progressive over there. You have the Netherlands, Canada, and I don't think it was the United States because that was very recently. I know. Um, so I mean, it could really either go either way, and it was Canada. The um the people it was Canada. um up north. Um, then the one. Uh, so now I know two things about Canada that it was the first country to legalize gay marriage, and it's very cold up there. Um, and apparently, nobody in the leaderboard knew this. This is crazy. I wonder that if any. Very. Knew it. We have no Canadians right now, so that is interesting. So. And we have the quiz in, in the, the Simpsons. The Simpsons, Simpsons making another if anybody appearance. Anybody watches The Simpsons, you should obviously know this. What's Homer's job? Does he work in a nuclear power plant? Is he a plumber, a bartender, or a teacher? Who now, knows? The Simpsons, as we all know, the very popular um, cartoon about yellow people in Springfield with uh, with the wacky adventures that they have. Um, but oh, 36. Nuclear, um, pretty good. Eight 36. people thought it was plumber. Plumber. Um, so those people clearly never seen The Simpsons. Um, but you know, and and Abby, oh, Abby, Christian Passman is it was Miss Victor. Miss Victor did not know that answer, I believe. Yeah, if, if I'm correct, the Simpsons skills. So she has never seen The Simpsons. That is very interesting. Let's see, if Daniel. Um, question is oh he's back with a three answer streak oh tiger king references i know the Fun. very um i know i have been this over i know i've been this over todd madence maybe we did. never know maybe todd resents could secretly be the tiger king the very yeah. um if anybody else been this over net uh, over quarantine then you should know the answer to this one but todd yeah this could be tiger king who knows now and it was that Okay, I'm glad that nobody chose Todd Madens, but you know, you never know. That. You never know. Yep. He could he could live a secret double life in um, you know, as a tiger handler. You never know. Oh, and Diego and Miss Tremont entering the and leader. And Miss Tremont, you it's see, they come back. Miss, I, so Miss Victor didn't Push even watch Tiger out. King or The Simpsons. The two two very popular. Thing. So I think that puts her at a disadvantage. Now, how many Harry Potter books Ooh, do we have any hotter fun. heads out there? I have never eight, seven, six, who knows? There can be so many. I mean only a lot of, only the people who read Harry Potter would know this. I know Miss Victor has an advantage in this one because she loves Harry Potter. See yeah, I mean I'm I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Um I it's not my type of thing, but you know, um and seven books, eight movies. I did not know that. I thought it was eight books and nine movies, I but know. you know, I'm not a Potterhead. Yeah, so, I'm um, Harry Potter, so I don't know. And, and the leaderboard does not change after change. that. It's very <laughs> obvious. It. And Grace is now back in the game. And this is interesting because now the 205 could have a chance. I mean, it's just that Mr. Schroeder has been in the lead for so long that. It could really go either way. And and I think the thing that really matters is the middle, right? The middle. Grace with her three streak. Let's see who the highest paid actress was in 2019. Was it Reese, Reese Witherspoon, Scarlett Johansson, Lady Gaga, or Nicole Kidman? Who knows? Who's a big movie fan out here? Well, I think this really depends about, um, is it how much they got paid in the movies? Because I know Lady Gaga is um, very rich. And she could have got paid a lot for her songs. And it was Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, 27 people knew that. Wow. I did not know that, but 27 I don't know, people know. I, I think it might have been. Lady yeah. Gaga. Hmm. Lady Gaga. Two people said Lady Gaga. I mean, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> and Victor, oh, wow. Victor's a back of... in the game, but it, it's still... It's still... And six players just hit answer sheet for a lot of people are on a roll... Yes. Like a wheel of cheese. Yes. Now, what is exactly like that. And it's still in the lead. And we have Parasite. Parasite is my favorite movie. I think it is amazing. Avengers Endgame. I know yes. a lot of people like that. Gone with the Wind has been in some Avatar, always a good, Avatar. Always a good Avatar. Avatar. I know now, a lot of Avatar, people Avatar nobody, yeah. 
that. Uh, nobody remembers the plot of Avatar, but it's still the second most highest grossing film of all time, even though that nobody remembers it. And it was Gone with the Wind, who has been in the news lately. Mr. Strother, though, still staying on top. Look at that. Oh, and Mr. Goat Mitchell is making a comeback with three in a row. Look at that. Hey, so who's saying Dear Theodosia at a variety show? I know, I know that a lot of people would know this one. Me Dude, in my he, mind. Luna or <laughs> someone else, who knows? So that means everybody would have had to sing that. Yeah, so, that. he's really good. Who knows? Player, so, who knows? Who or knows? Cookie Natty or Luna, who knows? Maybe even if they didn't go to school at the time, everybody just yeah. telepathically well, just Maddie said. Simone, I personally did not know that. One person just said either. me in my mind. <laughs> Same, you know. <laughs> and Lily. Lily. And the leaderboard, Miss right Vicks are falling fight. short. What happened with the, um? remember when the two teachers were at the front? What happened with that? I think it was, yeah. I think the um Simpsons and the Tiger Queen questions just threw Miss Victor off. Which eighth graders went to the state science fair? Sam? Mr. Burdins, again, Sam, getting those science questions. Or Devin. I think the students know this one. I don't know about the teachers. Let's see if they can make a comeback in the leaderboard. Right well, now, I think I top. think the I I think Mr. Burdins probably knows this because it is his, you know, kind of his um, area of expertise. It is, it is hairy, yeah, but like, and maybe the principals too. But ten people said me. I, I wish, yeah. unfortunately. You know. Sam K went to the science fair and 30 people knew that. Let's see how that affected our leaderboard. Now, um, and, and, and it stayed moderate. exactly the same. I can't believe Mr. Not. Schluther um, is still at the top. He's been in the top for so much time. I mean, it is I believe the whole like game. Ever. We Mr. come into our last Sam 10 K. questions. Furry potato. Cute animals discussing food being cozy and bad fashion. I mean, it could be either one of these things because when I see a very cute dog, I say, wow, that's a pretty that's furry a, potato, yeah. you know? Also, being cozy, I'm thinking of couch potato for some reason. Yes. I've personally never heard this hashtag, but I don't know if anyone knows <laughs> Well, 18 cute people. Cute animals. animals. You cute see, animals. like, yeah, whenever I just see a cute rabbit, I just say, wow, that's such a so, furry potato. A furry potato. <laughs> oh, and Diego making a comeback. Oh, Diego, number two. Better, better watch out because... 205 is taking up four spots on the leaderboard. Mr. Shuther's really carrying the teachers now. Yeah, Mr. Shuther. McCormick looks scared. Yeah, Sir McCormick with a scared face. What is Stranger the name of Things. Ooh. Stranger Things? Fun thing. fact, I have never <laughs> seen Stranger Things. I oh mean, puns. I expect more of you. It, I don't know. I didn't like it. it. It's too scary for me. It seems scary, and I don't. I don't like the Demi Gordons or whatever they're called. Demi Gordons, yeah. The one that has like those people they go. Oh, yeah. Flower flesh. I do know a lot of people are looking out to. A... People watch Stranger Things because they knew that it was the Upside Down. Yeah, there is. Apparently, going to be a Stranger Things season four in 2021 that I think a lot of people are looking out for. Yes. The leaderboard's now, still not changing. Come back with three in a row. Let's see who plays Katniss in the Hunger Games movies. I know Bridget knows this because she was very, she really liked Hunger Games at a point. Let's see how knows this. I mean, was it yeah, Jennifer I mean, Sin, Lily Zabisky, Jennifer Lawrence, or Millie Bobby Brown? I know Millie Bobby Brown was in Stranger Things, which is the last question. So let's see if anyone knows this. So this is um interesting because Katniss, you know, is. It was Jennifer Lawrence. So we had two Jennifers, and a lot of people knew that one. We have a lot of hunger heads. As oh, Miss like Tremont them. coming in at number Ms. five. Tremont is back. The teachers could still win. I could still do this. Yeah, but we, I think it just, so when talking about who will win this, it just really comes down to what the middle looks like. Well, the who is, United who their history and their geography because what countries make up the United Kingdom? Right. The Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland or other. Who now, know? I, I, I know that, kind of um, you know, um, the UK, the uh, people down north, I think that's what they're called. Down mm -hmm. north. Yes. No, that that's people from Australia. And 18 Wait. people thought Ireland is still a part of um the UK, which it is not. How now, is that still possible, Hans? After all of the educating I've been doing all year on this. I know. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell should be in the leaderboard now for this. 
but as you know, we, we, we should assume those eighteen. Oh, Miss Tremont, moving, moving past uh, Abby. So we're all coming have, back. So yeah. it's still anybody's game here. It's very close, closer than you know, like the oldest Kardashian sister. Oof, I don't know this. I mean, keeping up with the Kardashians, oh. I watched a couple episodes, I'm not going to lie. It's a um, very interesting show. If you watch TV with the Kardashians, you should know this is very, very addicting. Is it yes, it is. It is my guilty pleasure. It is very addicting. Yes. Addictive. Yes. So, you know. Um, now we have Courtney, Courtney Kardashian. With a K. With a K. Courtney's my favorite, so I don't know about anybody else, but Courtney's my favorite. Courtney well, and Chloe. We have and Lily pushing past Abby. Lily, so I mean, I think it's just difficult. And Legend Bear seventy eight is in a comeback. I don't know who Legend Bear is. Maybe he is the um like the person that the teachers need or the students need. Maybe he's like a ace um, in the hole. Maybe he's like a rebel who's just fighting for himself. <laughs> the Cada National Park. I mean, I don't know this one. I'm going to be honest. And for some reason, there's a building right there. And it's talking about national parks. Maybe that's, maybe it's like, that is the national park. It's just a building. I don't know. That looks like Burley. So yeah, I don't a little bit. At all with the answer. But it looks like 20 people knew that Cada National Park was in Maine. 11 people thought it was in Wyoming, which is incorrect. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I forget that Wyoming exists half of the time, so, yeah. you know. Oh, and Diego. And the oh, Le- Diego. Mr. Struther has one. been taken down. That hasn't happened in a while. I don't think, I don't think that the teachers have a chance. And Kobe oh, five is going to win. On fire with her answer streak. How many bones are in the Ooh. human body? I don't know who knows this because, you know, who counts the bones, but I don't know who counts the bones, but that sounds like a pretty cool job, bone yeah. counter. I mean, I, I want to be a bone counter. A lot of people like Skelly in Mr. Menendez's class. So. That oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Skelly. So whoever bone counted team. Skelly in it is 36. That is a lot. Wow. Let's see what this did to, and it did not. Oh, and Victor, Victor, Victor is back, back after the number four. After the the um, like after the Simpsons question, she is back. A lot of supportive words from Miss Barber concerning now, the watch the top. So, which modern day item made it Oof. into the season of Game of? Now, this was a blunder. I know this. Oh no no. You know, I know a lot of people did not look like the final season. It was a. Tra- and, and, you know, a lot of people want them to redo the final season. I have never seen Game of Thrones too bloody for me. But, you know, keeping it. Well, the Star- and it was the Star- Starbucks, Starbucks Cup. Starbucks Cup was invented from Game of Thrones. Who knew that? Yeah. Yes. And next Make- time you go to Starbucks, think about how where the Starbucks Cup originated from. And oh, Miss Skiba coming at number five. And so now Miss Victor is uh, – clearly she doesn't watch Game of Thrones either. Yep, she does not watch Game of Thrones. She did – so she doesn't watch the Game of Thrones, The Simpsons, or Tiger King, and I just have to wonder what does she watch? Which, which, what, what country was the first to use paper money? Now, mm. I don't know. China is a very old country. I've Iran, Italy, Egypt. I mean, I don't know this one. You know, um, but we we don't know. I mean, it could be China, it could be Italy. I know. I, I mean, my guess is China, and I am correct. So look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I did not know that. Oh, Miss Skiba, number Ms. three. Miss Skiba is. So the teachers might have a chance if Diego mm-hmm. can be knocked down like a, like a teeter totter on the top shelf. Yeah. <laughs> what American rapper originally went by the name? Let's let's say Paris Crooks. Was it Jay Z? Gambino, Tyga, Tupac, or Jay Z. I know now, a lot of eighth graders are rap fans, so let's see who knows this let's one. Let's see who knows this one. Who knows the rappers? I think I know, but I don't know about anybody else. I don't. It was Tupac. Now, um, 
and oh, Sam and Niffin, number five. Sam Niffin, Niffin, Niffin as back because he knew it was Tupac. And Miss Nash, no, clearly knows her rappers. Miss Nash is a rap fan, um, but because she is a- making a comeback, three in a row. Now, this is say so. popular say so. I know the say dance. I know a lot of other eighth graders do. So now we have <laughs> Baby Yoda, Doja Cat, Joda Cat, and Doug the Pug. Now I don't know this one. I'm not, I don't do TikTok because you know I, I stopped using it after the news that you know the Chinese government might use it to steal your data. But you know that's just me. Um, and it was Doja Cat. So and there's lots of TikTok dances about this from this. Song, now, so. this is the final time. question. Oh, this could decide it MK all. McKenna, moving up. This could decide it all. Who will win? Now, yes, is what is the biggest island in the world? Let's see. Oh. It's so five. Are the teachers making a comeback? Let's Can they do it? Oh, Lord. Winner? Let's see. 13 seconds to decide who wins this whole Kahoot. Now, New Zealand, Ireland, or Iceland, or Greenland. Now, I think it's funny. And people are saying Bora Bora in the chat, even though that is not even and on it. it. And it is Greenland. Greenland. Now, let's see who could win first. At off. number three, three is Sam we have Trey Sam Niffin. Oh, wow. Same position. Number two. And Mr. Mr. Struthers. Struthers. And Diego wins it. And let's that see. If future is Diego. So two wow. of the five people are in the leaderboard. Let's see if Mr. Struthers can get some points for the teachers. Now, Mr. I I wonder what is going to happen. Is and Mr. Riddin. I think you're on mute. Mr. You're Mr. on mute, Mr. Mr. Riddin. Some technical difficulties. Now, after a major battle, Kahoot battle, the students and the teachers will take some time at rest as Ms. Tremont and Mr. Mitchell go back through and tally out all the scores. In just a moment, we will be back. Kahoot to ya.
Hello, everybody. Again, so coming back to you with scores, um, courtesy of myself and Mr. Mitchell. So even tighter this time um, was the difference between our winner and loser here. So in second place, we have a score of 627,290 points. In first, 600,000, uh, I'm sorry, 689,908. So our winner is for the 2020 graduating class Kahoot Olympics. Regretfully, the class of 205 our eighth graders. Teachers, we have been defeated. And I'm going to throw it over to Mr. McCormick for some final comments here. We talk a lot about being gracious in defeat and I'm trying my best. Uh, <laughs> and, and there's half a dozen students shaking their head. No, no we are gracious in defeat. <laughs> Congratulations, 205. It must be everything we taught you this year that helped you to prevail. Um, thanks to everyone who participated, 202, 205, uh, teachers and parents for pulling this together, uh, faculty, staff. Particular thanks to the wonderful Ms. Fournier for working behind the scenes to make this happen technologically, and to um, Ms. Tremont and Ms. Faust for pulling the cahoots together. Uh, and uh, please, everyone, join us here again at this location Monday at 10 a.m. for our graduation. You're all invited. Uh, come back to the, to the uh, Class of 2020 icon on the uh, Burley homepage, and you'll get the, the, the link will be there, and, and you can uh, watch us celebrate this phenomenal group of students together. And as we close, uh, everybody, uh, let's all say goodbye, and thanks again for a great job.